could you expand on some of the clinical features of FOP? Sure, Lori. Um, FOP is a unique condition, a devastating condition, and in fact, a catastrophic disorder and sabotage of the body's skeletal system. Children who have FOP, as you well know, look normal at birth, except for a telltale malformation of the great toe. Everything looks pretty normal until about two years of age, except for this toe malformation. And then uh, slowly, or sometimes suddenly, uh, painful swellings that look like tumors seize and attack the body's skeletal muscles and turn them into bone. Uh, eventually, ribbons and sheets and plates of bone replace the body's muscles, tendons, ligaments, and other soft connective tissues, uh, span the joints, lock them in place, and render movement completely impossible. Uh, and any attempt to remove this extra bone leads to, uh, leads to explosive new episodes of bone growth. And one of the most uh, uh, insightful things about FOP, and very important clues actually, that's helping us in the laboratory, is that uh, very minimal trauma, sometimes bumps and bruises, uh, preschool immunizations, uh, injections into the jaw for dental work, and very often even viruses will trigger, will trigger new episodes of FOP. Now, the common theme for all these, of course, is, uh, is injury and inflammation, the body's injury and inflammation system. And this is a very, very important clue that, uh, that told us that, uh, that not only is there a gene responsible for FOP, but there's very likely a, a, an important inflammatory and injury type trigger uh, that lets these new episodes of explosive new bone growth occur. These are, in fact, some of the most important clues that we then take back to the laboratory mm -hmm. Uh, and that uh, Eileen and Dr. Dr. Shore and the group use in the laboratory to, uh, uh, to design and to, uh, uh, to, to design an FOP mouse that will help us test new drugs. Thank you. One, one of the um, things that we've learned about FOP is that it's a disease of uh, bone formation. And we see most obviously the effects of this after a child is born and all the additional extra bone that forms in soft tissues. Uh, we, we also know that um, before birth that there are effects of uh, the gene mutation in FOP that change very subtly the uh, skeletal bone as that is forming as well. So we know that um, in general, the process of bone formation is affected both before and after birth, um, but certainly the um, uh, aspects and the effects of people after birth and the extraordinarily um, uh, extensive bone formation that, um, that occurs in children and later in adults um, is the problem that we most want to solve. Okay, thank you.